Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be doing another Swing Smarter video on a hitter, Ryan Braun. And in this video, we're going to talk about how Ryan Braun's swing is very, very springy, much like the Red Kangaroo or the Gazelle or Dean Carnassus, the 50 marathons in 50 days guy, how he's able to, to run long distances for what seems like days on end. And Paul Rabble, one of the the leading scorers or has the world record for the fastest look, thrown lacrosse ball in Major League Lacrosse, and how he uses his body as a as a springy springy catapult system, and I like to call as it applies to baseball the catapult loading system, and we're going to see how Ryan Braun does the same stuff. These are human, these are universal laws. These are human movement laws. Is it hitting isn't just unique in its own right in baseball and softball worlds. Hitting is just like any other explosive rotational sport. And we're gonna we're gonna compare Braun Swing or his explosive rotational mechanics to Jan, the world record javelin thrower in the Olympics. And how Jan uses similar looks a little different because there's some things that us hitters we just can't do because we take our eye off the ball or something like that and we just have a smaller space to work with. But we're going to see how other explosive rotational athletes and, and hitters are very, very similar. So as we look at Ryan Braun here, this is a number. This is a home run number 40 of 2012, and this is a perfect view of his swing. And you actually see him float a little bit as he comes forward. He'll float. He picks a foot up before he actually starts falling forward. So the one thing you, you do see is you you do see forward momentum. You see. Braun unweighting the bat. He actually picks that foot up and he, his hips fall forward. That's important because without this, for a small hitter to hit like a big hitter, it's going to be very hard because this forward momentum, just this little bit, gets the catapult loading system fired up. Makes the makes the movement much more efficient, much easier to do. But let's back up. We're not talking about forward momentum in this video. We're talking about the stability X pattern that the body makes. And what that means, stability X pattern, let's see if I can get them into the farthest part, which is about right here. So what we're seeing is Ryan Braun's front shoulder is moving towards his back hip. And you're seeing his front hip actually move away, or this shoulder actually, move, the back shoulder move away from the front hip. And what will happen is you'll see these rolls reverse as he swings. You'll see the, let me erase these now. You'll see as he fires, you'll see this back hip or back shoulder again, the front shoulder, will begin to move away from this the back hip and then this shoulder will get thrown forward to, or this back shoulder will get thrown forward to the front hip. This is the rotary stability X pattern or the catapult loading system we talk about. So you see how most instructors actually teach to walk away from the hands. Now Ryan Braun isn't doing that. Ryan Braun is I consider him a small guy. He's six foot, weighs about two oh five. And PED usage aside, he's using his body very efficiently as a hitter. So what you'll see, tell me if you can see those hands moving towards the catcher or an alternative route. Where do you see him moving? Looks like behind Braun. They're moving behind him, not to the catcher. And what you're going to see because of this movement is, let me back it up to the front view, not that one, but this one, is you'll see those hands almost disappear. So as the pitcher is getting ready to throw the ball, see where his hands are, which are out here, and you're going to see them disappear like he's a boxer trying to punch a hole through somebody's chest. But notice how in the start, you can't really make out his number. If you didn't know what his number was, you wouldn't know what that number is. But then as he goes into tucking those hands, where you saw the movement of those hands when we were in his chest view, notice how you can see his number clearly now. So it's not just a tuck into the hands motion, it's a, it's a torso tuck. Because the body has three different types of materials inside, give or take. But when you're talking about muscles and bones and connective tissue, the connective tissue in question here is mainly myofascia. 
which is a collagen-like material that most of you know that celebrities like Joan Rivers tend to inject into their face. It's, it's like steel is the, to, the, to the building industry, myofascia is to the human body. Very springy-like material. And though this twisting of this tor torso really capitalizes on these compression and tension forces of the bones and muscles and myofascia. Myofascia is like a cotton candy-like material and bones and muscles float in this. This is according to Thomas Myers in his book Anatomy Trains. So this myofascial material is what is very springy and is why you see Braun do what he's doing. So now let's take a look at the same spring material as we look at uh, other explosive rotational athletes like Jan throwing the javelin. Now they throw this thing pretty far, but as you'll notice there's a lot of forward momentum here, right? He's running, but obviously we can't do this as a hitter. We have a, a smaller area that we have to work in. We have a batter's box, so we can't really get this running start like this. However, it's forward momentum nonetheless. It's unweighting the javelin. Okay, and what you'll see here as he's running, you'll see towards when he gets ready to throw, is you'll see him, this shoulder, front shoulder, you see here, has gotten closer to this back hip, and you've seen that in this front hip, just like we talked about with Braun, it's getting farther away from the back shoulder. And the reverse is true on the back side. So if this line here is getting shorter in this position, this athlete's position, then the same line tracing over the back to the to the back hip is actually getting longer. Same is true, opposite is true with this one. This line's longer in the front and on the back the same line is actually getting shorter. And this is when Jan is tightening up, getting springy to release the javelin. As you see here, those same lines that we talked about, the front one being shorter the back one being longer will reverse as we explode. So as you can see, this it's starting to open up already, and then boom, you see his his shoulder, his front shoulder disappears, and he he fronts up to where he wants to throw that javelin. So as you see, the same catapult loading system involved here with Jan throwing the javelin at a world record distance and using forward momentum as well. So I hope this video helped out a little bit, showing the body is springy, has spring material, these tension and compression forces, and the stability X pattern that we talked about. And when we apply it to baseball, it's called the catapult loading system. Hope you learned something. If you got any questions, please post them below the video.